Send is actually pretty slow. The more text you want to send, the longer it will take to send it. I'm sure you had a situation where you sent a lot of text and then wished you didn't. On the other hand, if you paste that text instead, the time it will take won't be affected by the size of the text, be it a single character or two paragraphs. On HK side, it will be no different. That's why I created a function that does exactly that. It sends text by pasting it. All you have to do is specify what you want to paste as the first parameter. And don't worry, it takes care of your previous clipboard, so you won't lose whatever you had copied beforehand. Now, we're just pasting text, so if you want to send actual keys, you will need to use send still. Clip send is only for sending literal text. There is another limitation. You can't use multiple clip sends in a row. I'll explain why this happens. We set the clipboard to be some value. Then we send the key of control V to send the clipboard. While the application we're sending text to processes the input, we have already started executing the second clip send, in which we change the clipboard again. So, all while the app is still getting the first input, we change it multiple times, and it ends up only receiving the last one, so it pastes it three times. Now, you might think that putting a sleep would solve the issue, and you would be right, technically. Because of that sleep, using a send might actually be faster if the text is small enough, so that would defeat the speed that clip send provides. Therefore, I recommend clip sending all the text at once. And, instead of sending enters in between to get new lines, use HK's new line character, or a continuation section. Now, the code. There are a few parameters that you should look at. Besides the first one, where you specify what you actually want to send, you're also sending an ending character by default. I often use clip send to paste links, so having a space after a link is nice to have. Maybe you want a new line after whatever you send. You can specify that. If you want to disable this behavior, just specify an empty string. By default, your previous clipboard is kept intact. You can change this if you specify the third parameter as false. Then you'll get whatever you just clip sent in your clipboard. And the last one is the amount of milliseconds until your clipboard is reverted to what it was before the clip send. Let's go through the steps of the function. We store the previous value of the clipboard in a variable, so we can revert it later. Then empty the current clipboard, so we can clip wait for it to be filled with the value that we want to send, plus the ending character, which by default is a space. Now to actually send Control v as a hotkey to send our clipboard. The reason why we're not using the easier notation is because writing out the full down and up motions is more reliable. Now that we sent our clipboard, we can't immediately switch our clipboard back to pref clip. We need to wait for it to finish pasting itself and only then make the revert. For that, we start a timer so the script can do other stuff in the meantime of waiting for the timeout. In other words, to not occupy the thread, we set the clipboard to the state that we backed up earlier, in the amount of milliseconds that we specified in the last parameter. To reiterate, clip send itself doesn't take 50 milliseconds to execute, reverting the clipboard does. And if you're using clip send with hotkeys, without spamming, you won't notice this happening, since 50 milliseconds is quite fast. There are a few limitations of this function, but for its purpose, it's incredibly useful. Because the speed of clip send is blazingly fast compared to send. Now, I'm not advertising breaking Discord's TOS, but the difference is incredibly visible on Discord. How do I know? I overheard it in a bar. Yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave a link to this function in the description. Have a good day.